Better be tough, you have hook. Think it is up to your pretty looks you want. Live a restaurant and fun done, man, bang, book. Book! Eh, recipe book. What? In a dick, chink, I have them, no, no, you better cook. Welcome back to my channel guys. Today we're gonna be doing curry chicken and white rice the Jamaican way. Yeah, so right now I'm gonna be washing the meat with some vinegar just to get away the raw scent. So, okay guys, the meat is ready to be seasoned now. So, here are the ingredients that we're going to be needed today. We have our turmeric, which is known as curry. Jamaicans call it curry. And we have our complete seasoning. We have our Mrs. Dash, the garlic and herbs. And we have this one, which is the original. And we have our pimento. We have our... Got well, our ginger, we have our pepper, sweet pepper, and onion, skillet, and thyme. So, I'm gonna add the complete seasoning, I'm gonna add enough season so that it will taste on the meat. So now I'm going to add these to the rest, these to my chicken. And I'm going to use my hand to rub in the seasoning. Because to me, I think using your hand, the, the season reach the meat, every crease and corner, the meat, better that way. So I rather to use my hands. So guys, I'm going to leave my chicken to marinate for half an hour because I want it to be well seasoned. So now that the chicken is finished marinating, I've added just a small amount of oil and I'm going to add a hot pepper and some garlics. And I'm going to let them fry a little bit, just a little bit, before adding the curry. So now I'm going to add the curry. I'm going to add enough to get the color on the meat. And I'm going to stir it around in the oil. So now guys, I'm going to let it burn in the oil for around 3 minutes. Yes. So guys, now that the curry is finished burning, I'm going to add the chicken to the curry. And I'm going to leave it on the fire for around 5 minutes so that it's it can spring its own water and then i'm gonna check back on it in five minutes time 
yes guys so now i'm gonna start on the rice here i have two cups of water and i'm gonna be using half stick of the golden seal margarine and i'm gonna add it to the water and i'm gonna ha i have my sweet pepper my garlic my oh, a hot pepper scallion and thyme and i'm gonna add all of these to the water and i'm gonna add my salt i'm gonna add a small amount and then i'm gonna taste it and then i'm gonna see if it wants more and then i'm gonna add it that's the way i learned to cook rice so yes gonna leave this on the stove now for it to boil for two minutes yeah roughly two minutes the water will be boiling and now i'm gonna check on my meat and this is what it this is what it looks like after the five minutes i did not add any water to it mm. only thing i did was stir it up and let each and every piece of the meat get the color of the curry so I'm just going to stir it up a little bit and then I'm going to cover it back and leave it to cook for another five minutes before I re-season it, re it. So I'm going to wash the rice now. This is two cups of rice and I'm going to wash it and add it to the water that's on the stove boiling. So guys, now I'm going to add the rice to my boiling water. As you can see, it's ready and waiting. So I'm going to add the rice to my water right now. So after finish adding the rice to the water i'm gonna stir it up and i'm gonna let it cook for three minutes before checking back on it again because this stove is really fast so i'm gonna check on it in three minutes time so now i'm gonna check on my meat and here you go it's boiling and it's ready so i'm gonna stir it up So it, it looks good right now so it needs to cook down a little bit more so i'm gonna cover it for the next five minutes then i check on it again so here's the rest after the three minutes so i'm gonna stir it up again and i'm gonna cover it and let it cook for another three minutes but i'm gonna turn the stove down turn it down to medium and i'm gonna re-season my meat with some onion some sweet pepper some sweet carrot and some hot pepper and i'm gonna i'm gonna stir it up and i'm gonna turn down the stove on medium as well and i'm gonna let it cook for five minutes And then after that five minutes, it should be ready to be served. Yes. So guys, now I'm going to check back on the rice and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to turn it down from medium to low and I'm going to let it steam so now that the five minutes is up this is what my curry chicken looks like and this is what my rice looks like after finished steaming yes guys